one of Hollywood's hottest and brightest young stars. He's got his big break as a teen, but now he's all grown up and starring in a new sci-fi thriller, making his real debut. Please welcome Skylin Brooks! Yay! Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, it's it's an honor to be here. I've, I've seen this uh, growing up. Oh, <laughs> so. we love that. Oh, now, no, Skylin. We, we owe. <laughs> I, that's exactly what that says, but I'm honored, too. I feel grown. <laughs> now, Skylin, you starred alongside Jennifer Hudson, Anthony Mackie in the 2013 Sundance film, The Inevitable Defeat of Mr. and Pete. What was that like, and how was it working with Jennifer and Anthony? Wow, that's a throwback. Um, it was an honor, uh, definitely one of the most um, encouraging uh, moments in my life and my career. And to speak on Jennifer Hudson and Anthony Mackie, they really inspired me and also kept me really grounded um, in my craft and at the time growing up. Um, looking back at it, I remember Anthony Mackie being really uh, encouraging and like anytime there was a moment on film where he really felt like it needed to be turned, the camera needed to be turned on me, he would, he would go ahead and, and say, hey, he would hold everything and say, stop, and then go ahead and turn the camera on him. He's, he's got something. And um, with Jennifer, she was definitely inspiring and really told me to keep doing what I was doing, that I was actually on the right track. So, yeah. Well, you've gone on to work with some big names in Hollywood, including Jake Gyllenhaal, Forrest Whitaker, and recently, Rutina Wesley and Taryn Manning. What have you learned from working with such talented actors? Oh, man, uh, they're all extremely tough acts to follow, but um, it was amazing, uh, to be honest, even while I'm Southpaw with Jake Gyllenhaal and, and Forrest and, and having those moments one-on-one -on -one with Jake where Jake would even say, you know, like, hey, you know, you got something here, keep, keep going, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and really wanted to em embrace me in those moments. Do you and, get nervous uh, working with th that type of talent? Because that's like A-list. Yeah, yeah. You know, at first I was just kind of doing what I was doing. I was just having fun. You know, one thing about acting is like, I just really wanted to have fun with it. And um, it pushed me to really take it serious and be professional with the craft as much as possible mm -hmm, um, to the highest extent possible. But I mean, yeah, heck yeah, I was nervous. I, I, <laughs> I, didn't, know, <laughs> I didn't know if I was doing good or not, but they definitely kept me motivated to do it and, and also keep the integrity of the craft alive and put that first. Good. Absolutely. Now, how do you keep that same integrity that you're showing us, especially at such a young age when a lot of people are out there clout chasing right now, they're flossing on the gram at Don't your age? Don't talk about me, Janie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me, I mean, me personally, um, family. Family, definitely. That's true. Uh, put that as a priority um, to stay grounded and, and definitely not get big headed and, and stay humble as far as like, you know, you're not the best out there. And at any point in time, you can feel like you are, but it should always be to yourself. And that should be the inner confidence you have. But music, music for me is a big thing. Um, listening to instrumentals and like vibing out and just focusing on whether it's a script or, or doing art. Um, pictures too, also looking back at how far I've come also kind of trips me out because it's like, Man, I was wearing that red shirt auditions all the time, like thinking that was my <laughs> my good luck charm. You know, I was like, you know, those the the simple things. So, Skylin, you played Rara on the Netflix original series The Get Down, and you recently posted on your social media for the internet to do its thing. What does that mean? <laughs> you know what, what it do you means. Want it to do? You know what it means. <laughs> oh, hey. I watched the greats. I watched the um, I watched the biggest things go viral, and you know they always say that thing where it's like, y'all know what to do, you know. So, right. um, no, I just I just thought it was so funny to see it because over the years there's been so many times where people have been like DMing me or like, hey, like, when is the show coming back? And I'm like, I don't know, you know. But if you guys keep making noise, hopefully it'll happen. You know, there's. There, and it's known to happen. Shows have come back multiple times. You know, the game specifically rebooted uh, multiple true, times. True. So it's like, I talked to the cast over the years and it's like, yeah, we, we'd be down to do it again. But, you know, it's just gotta be perfect time and hopefully it'll happen. 
That's good. You know, and while you're waiting on that, you're also making music on your own. Your first album came out in 2019. Any plans to do more music soon? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's it's cooking right now. So um, right now I'm working on my next album with 1500, uh, Hoods the Rock. Shout out, man. Working along with him on that and uh, partnering with Gala Music, uh, where I heard Snoop Dogg is over there right now with uh -huh. his new NFT album. So, you know, getting into that space, uh, testing the artists with that. But it'll be a hip hop jazz album. Oh, uh, with some B.O. Fuel like uh, that. Fuse in it. I do too. Oh, that's <laughs> yes. All right, now, besides the music and everything else, you are the leading man starring in the sci fi thriller. Outsiders, can you tell us about that? Outsiders, man. Outsiders is, is a film that touches on a lot of different things, but at its roots and basis, it's, it's a film about a young teenager who's moving into a new small town. And he meets this girl and they start dating, but something happens where she ends up disappearing and the entire town believes that he's the reason why she disappears. So he has to go on a run for three days and try to prove his innocence before time. Ooh, wow. Okay, well, don't tell us anymore because we got a clip from The Outsiders. <laughs> Take a look. Me and my stepdad, Don, we got into it. And now we're stuck out here. What happened? My mom just keeps going back to him. It's like an addiction. just keeps hitting her, hitting her. Man, I just wanted to kill him. Well, you better wow. act. You better act. I felt that in my bones, that is man. So I just wanted good. to kill her. Skylin, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Outsiders is now available on digital and video on demand, so be sure to check it out, fam.